Ever have a whoopie pie? This is pumpkin. It's like two pumpkin cookies with cream in the center. Breakfast of champions. Okay, got the presses warming up. I have book covers laminated ready to go, so I don't need to worry about the laminator. Got some books I did yesterday, gonna do some more. Still got, uh, got the goodies sitting here. Thanks, by the way, to all the people who are giving me comments and ideas on what to do with that. I, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keeping the 3070, uh, maybe moving the 1070 out somewhere else. Uh, but I do need to sell my C6500. I haven't turned that thing on since I got the 1070. Uh, so I gotta take care of listing that too. Somebody somebody wants, wants it, give me an offer or something. Uh, but right now, we need more short grain paper to cut down. And I should actually put together a paper order. It's getting a little, getting a little slim pickings. You know, the reality is, is I really would like to install the new to me 3070 and get that thing up and running. I think the 1070 is going to end up being like my backup and the 1070 will be used for envelopes. I think I might move it out front because I'm not going to use it that much. Because I do like the 3070 over the 1070. I'm not sure why. It looks just a little bit different, but. I think we'll put that back here. Might as well. Then we can at least see it running. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I say I really like to install the 3070, but the reality is, is my customers come first, and I got jobs to print, so messing with the 3070 is gonna get put on the back burner. forgot about my breakfast. This is why I keep a case of 11 by 17 with a perf around rather than set up the the uh, Ross back to perf just a couple sheets for the job I have it ready to go saves a ton of time. Okay there's 20 sets per tablet and two tablets up 20 sets is actually 40 sheets of paper, so all I did was impose this. I just repeated this page 80 times, two up on 11 by 17, so I'll get two tablets per, uh, per print. And then I also have a slip sheet in between, so I don't have to count anything out. So I need 20 of tablets. Two up, that's 10. I have one. So let's do nine more and then we'll be done. While that's printing, let's do some spiral bound books. Okay, those are going to town. Covers are done, those get punched. I get to try and use the automatic punch. We'll see how that works out. These are done, let's get the next black and white job printing here. Uh, it's a reprint. So it should be saved in here. Not sure how far back this is going to be, though. There it is. Uh, last printed in 2019. So let's do a proof of that. And then 24 once we approve the proof. While that prints, we're going to work on solving this problem here.
little nervous about this. A handful of people told me that sometimes if you have really wavy paper uh, from printing digitally, uh, you can have issues. So when I set this here, it was running fine. Uh, but I mean, I only ran a handful. That's about all I have to run now. But that's, I mean, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Put a couple blank ones up front. I don't know how it's going to do with cover stock. Throw them in there. Some blank ones at the back. Give it a whirl. I remember this happened before. It doesn't stay to the side. But we should just be able to keep going. That'll work. I'm going to consider that a win. I mean, I guess there's possibility that there's variations. I'm interested to see how consistent the punch is, but no problems. My confetti maker works. Tell you what, automatic paper punch, that's a game changer. That saves so much time. And uh, let me show you what else is nice. So the automatic paper punch punches an oval, whereas my old paper punch will punch a circle. So this oval is so much nicer to insert the spiral in because it gives more space. And that was really nice. So those are done. Let's hop on the next one. Okay, so I just need to cut these in half and they're gonna be ready to bind. This is where I figured out uh, where to score at. So this is the, the top panel that gets stapled. The thickness of the book is 0.2, 11 inches for the back panel. The thickness of the book again for points two, and then the front panel uh, gives me the sheet length, and then I need scores at point five, point seven, twelve point two, and twelve point four. Another one done. Seems like I'm always moving paper. I guess it's a good thing. Whoa, just like that, the week's over and uh, it's the weekend. So, I don't know, I, I had scratched my head many times and measured uh, where I could put the new to me 3070 
And I think I finally figured it out. I think uh, we're gonna do some switching around. Uh, this 3070 here, just gonna maintain that right there. Not gonna touch a thing. That's under service contract. Uh, don't wanna mess with it. But I am gonna move the new to me 3070 here. The 1070 is gonna be moved out into the office. This finisher is gonna stay here. I'm gonna eliminate this entirely. So we got to do some finishing or some swapping of the finishers. I think I think I did my homework and they should play well with each other. But uh, thanks so much for uh, all the new subscribers and new view new views that I'm getting from everybody. Really appreciate it. It's fun to uh, hear comments from everybody out there, the people with printing backgrounds and not printing backgrounds. Uh, all are welcome. So have a great weekend. We'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, and uh, don't don't be scared to uh, put down in the comments uh, things you guys want to see. I know I haven't gotten quite all of them. I do keep a list of questions or uh, videos that people ask for. So make sure you uh, keep commenting. Uh, really appreciate it.